Hi, Dr. Joe here. Uh, talk a little bit more about arteries and what it's all about. I have in hand a copy of the Wall Street Journal article from June 1st, 2010. And uh, it begins with a little quote from long ago. Uh, Thomas Sydenham, an English physician who died in 1689, has always been known to say, a man is only as old as his arteries. And that has been repeated 25 years ago by the head of cardiology at the Mayo Clinic. And it's still more true today, now that we can figure out what things are like and what we can do to change your age. So this is the part that was in the Wall Street Journal. And as you can see, if anybody has been in the office, you can see what it is and the bottom part you see a lot of plaque on the left-hand side. It's the yellow that's uh, ganging up and uh, decreasing the lumen of the arteries. And then it, as it goes down and down and down up to where my fingers are, up to here where actually you're a teenager. <clears throat> and by that, you, you don't have any plaque and you have very elastic arteries. So this is really nice to know. Uh, we have something whom anybody in the, in the office who's ever been here can see. The same kind of thing put together with the normal being down in this place with no plaque and the worst being up on the other side right here where it's all full of plaque. So this is very well understood and it's something that uh, we talk about all the time because we can reverse all the things and make things uh, ultimately really better. This is where the arginine works. This is how it works. It takes three different steps in that artery that we were just seeing. First of all, the lining, the endothelium, can become normal very quickly. The lining is only one cell thick. The arginine goes up to the edge. It goes through it with a certain enzyme, and on the other side it becomes nitric oxide. That's the action. That's what won the Nobel Prize. That's how we get success, and that's why we don't get any uh, uh, situation where people <clears throat> are very aware that something isn't working anymore. It doesn't happen in terms of this. But it may not be enough, because in the inside of that, there's a muscular situation. The muscles can sometimes, and many people, probably 90%, we'll know soon, and it's a situation where the muscles can be normal. But we use other blood pressure medicine, not because somebody necessarily has a blood pressure that's out of line, but we want to be able to make the plaque go away, the flexibility return, and the endothelium remain normal. And for that, we use something called Tecturna, which is two blood pressure medications. And particularly if there's a metabolic syndrome or diabetes, this is a dramatic drug. It works where ACEs work, it works where ARBs work, and it works in the RAS system as well. All those are linked to get high blood pressure. The RAS is so important because recently there have been eight papers that show that RAS in people with diabetes is higher five times, eight times normal than a normal person without diabetes. And yet the RAS gets in there, reverses all of that change in there, and therefore we have seen a dramatic and speedy return of blood pressure to normal limits. This is easy, reversible, and the most exciting thing, as we've said for years, this is a situation where we know we can then stop the prescription drug and remain on the arginine that will keep you that well. We'll need a long time to confirm this over the long haul, but we know over several years at least we're doing very well. And so if you can get off your prescription blood pressure medication and still remain very young in the arteries, it's your time. Thanks for listening to this very exciting news.